I just get to pinch myself every day because I am the biggest Disney fan that I know. Um, whether it comes to parks, the movies, Pixar, Disney+, Plus, all the Disney Channel shows, I've been obsessed my whole life. So I feel very, very blessed to be playing Snow White so much. Yeah. And then Nothing has brought me more joy than watching the Walt Disney Company scramble over the past few weeks in response to mounting criticism. Recently, they've become furious with South Park for mocking their so-called woke ideologies. Disney has been constantly race-swapping or religion-swapping characters in its movies, and South Park didn't hold back in their satirical takedown. The South Park creators have done what they do best, poke fun at the absurdity of it all. The newest episode, titled Into the Panderverse, features all the classic South Park characters, Cartman, Stan, Butters, and Kenny, being race and gender swapped into adult women of color. This satirical portrayal mirrors what Disney has been doing with some of its recent projects, most notably Snow White, where Latina actress Rachel Zegler has taken on the role of the fair-skinned princess. The episode serves as a sharp criticism of Disney's approach, especially when it comes to projects like Snow White, where fans feel key elements of the original story have been stripped away in the name of modernization. It was only a matter of time before South Park took on Disney's so-called woke agenda. The show is known for fearlessly mocking cultural and political trends, and this time, Disney was firmly in their crosshairs. Rachel Ziegler, who has already faced substantial criticism for her role in Snow White, is reportedly furious over the South Park episode, as it not only parodies Disney's casting decisions, but also takes direct aim at her. While South Park is no stranger to controversy, Disney appears especially incensed by this latest mockery. In Into the Panderverse, South Park creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker take direct shots at Disney's race and gender swapping of iconic characters. They hilariously exaggerate the issue by gender and race swapping the entire main cast of the show, a clear dig at what they see as Disney's habit of pandering to certain audiences. Rachel Ziegler's casting as Snow White has been a focal point for South Park, with the show mocking how Disney swapped Snow White's race and altered important story details in the process. Rachel Zegler's portrayal of Snow White has drawn massive backlash, not just for her casting, but also for her comments about the film. In interviews, Zegler has openly criticized the 1937 Snow White, calling it outdated and even creepy. She has expressed a desire to distance her character from the traditional fairy tale romance, even hinting that the prince may be cut from the film altogether. Zegler has stated that her version of Snow White is not about the love story at all, which to her is a refreshing change. However, fans of the original film were less than thrilled. One of the most contentious aspects of Zegler's interviews is her attitude toward the role. Many people find her ungrateful and entitled, especially when she jokes about potentially cutting her co-star, Andrew Burnap, who plays the prince. Zegler's casual remarks about the film, including a quip about Hollywood cutting scenes at random, have not gone over well with fans. Her apparent disregard for the legacy of Snow White has caused many to criticize her tone as rude and disrespectful, with some saying she is single-handedly damaging the film's reputation before it's even been released. The backlash against Disney's Snow White remake isn't limited to Zegler's casting or attitude. Many fans are outraged that the studio has fundamentally altered the plot by removing the love story between Snow White and the prince. What's more, the Seven Dwarfs, integral characters from the original film, have been replaced by magical creatures, much to the dismay of fans who feel that Disney is sacrificing the story's integrity for the sake of political correctness. Fans have expressed their frustration on social media, with many accusing Disney of pandering to modern sensibilities at the expense of beloved stories. The replacement of the Seven Dwarfs and the sidelining of the Prince were seen as unnecessary and disrespectful changes. The backlash grew so intense that Disney had to delay the film and eventually reintroduce the dwarfs. However, the CGI versions of the dwarfs were heavily criticized for their unnatural appearance, further alienating fans. David Hand, son of one of the original directors of Snow White, has also criticized Disney for its changes. He called the new version insulting to his father's legacy and to Disney's original vision. Han's comments added fuel to the fire, with many fans agreeing that Disney had lost touch with what made the original Snow White so special. 
The studio's decision to change key elements of the story in order to appeal to a modern audience was seen by many as a betrayal of the original film's core values. In response to the controversy, South Park decided to make its point with Into the Pandaverse. The episode humorously illustrates how absurd it is to race and gender swap beloved characters just to meet diversity quotas. While diversity is important, South Park argues that it should be woven into original stories rather than shoehorned into existing ones. By parodying Disney's casting decisions, South Park shines a spotlight on how such changes often feel superficial and forced. In addition to mocking the Snow White remake, the South Park episode also critiques the recent trend of using diversity as a marketing tool. The show's creators emphasize that simply changing a character's race or gender does not constitute meaningful representation, especially when it's done for the sake of appearing progressive. The episode points out that Disney seems more focused on ticking diversity boxes than on crafting thoughtful stories that resonate with audiences. This latest South Park episode has left Disney fuming. According to rumors, Disney is reportedly trying to stop South Park from airing similar episodes in the future, as they view the show's satire as a direct threat to their business model. Disney has long emphasized its commitment to creating more diverse stories, but South Park creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker are not afraid to challenge Disney's approach, which they see as pandering. South Park has mocked Disney before, most notably with its Streaming Wars episodes, which satirized Disney's handling of the Star Wars franchise. The creators even took shots at Mickey Mouse, one of Disney's most beloved characters, which reportedly angered the studio. With Into the Pandaverse, South Park has once again targeted Disney, this time mocking the studio's recent remakes and their emphasis on diversity over storytelling. The episode highlights a deeper issue in Hollywood, the reliance on race swapping and gender swapping to appear progressive, rather than creating original content that authentically reflects diverse experiences. By focusing on pre-existing stories and altering them for the sake of representation, studios risk alienating fans who feel that these changes are disingenuous. One of the key takeaways from the South Park episode is that diversity should be handled with care and respect, especially when dealing with iconic stories like Snow White. Fans of the original story argue that there's nothing wrong with a love story, or with keeping beloved characters like the Prince and the Seven Dwarfs. They believe that Snow White can still be a strong, independent character while embracing the traditional elements that made the original film a classic. Rachel Ziegler, in particular, has come under fire for her outspoken advocacy of the changes to Snow White. Many fans feel that her comments have been dismissive of the original story, and they question why she took the role in the first place if she didn't respect the material. Her negative attitude toward the original Snow White has only fueled the backlash, with some fans calling for her removal from the film. In contrast to Disney's approach, South Park's satire has resonated with many viewers who feel that Hollywood has gone too far in its efforts to modernize classic stories. The show's creators, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, are known for their irreverent humor. But in this case, their message has struck a chord with fans who are tired of seeing beloved stories altered for the sake of political correctness. The criticism extends beyond the casting of Rachel Zegler. Fans argue that if Disney wanted to tell a new story with a Latina heroine, they should have created an entirely new film rather than retrofitting Snow White to fit their diversity agenda. The South Park episode emphasizes that there's a fine line between representation and pandering, and when studios cross that line, it can do more harm than good. Disney's decision to remove the love story from Snow White has been seen as especially disrespectful to the original creators of the film. Fans believe that the romance between Snow White and the prince was a central part of the story, and that removing it diminishes the emotional impact of the film. By rewriting Snow White as a warrior who only cares about her kingdom, Disney has alienated viewers who connected with the original film's themes of love and innocence. In the end, South Park's Into the Pandaverse serves as a biting critique of Hollywood's current trend of race swapping and gender swapping characters in classic stories. While diversity is important, South Park argues that it should be handled thoughtfully and with respect for the original material. The episode has not only taken aim at Disney, but also at other studios that have embraced similar practices, making it clear that pandering is not the same as genuine representation. What do you think of South Park's take on Disney and Rachel Zegler? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to check out our next video for more updates.